A British Sign Language performance is where you have a Sign Language interpreter stood at the side of the stage, usually at the side of the stage, interpreting everything that goes on. For deaf people whose first language is BSL, it's really important. For hearing audiences, BSL performances are something that I don't think they always get. You could argue that because of the recent success of Rose in Strictly and with the BSL bill going through Parliament, that hearing people are more aware. But there are always some people who say, oh, I don't want to be distracted by someone standing at the side of the stage. I always hope that at any sign performances that hearing people will actually watch and think, wow, sign language is beautiful. That we realise that deaf people can and will enjoy going to the theatre like anybody else. Um, and hopefully it will actually make them more aware of both deafness itself and deaf people and what they can do. I was born deaf, so I've never in my life heard a full piano keyboard. I've never heard birds sing. I don't know heard backpack. Though I have Scottish ancestry. But I started playing the piano when I was five. Once I see it in a score, I look at that and I know in my head what that sounds like. So, when I'm performing, when I'm standing in the show, that's a case of looking at all that, memorising that, watching that on stage previously, trying to remember what everybody is. And whatever you do, do it confidently. I got involved in Hands in Harmony here in Plymouth uh, at the beginning of the first lockdown. In 2019, there was a community project, which I think was based here at the Theatre Royal, and someone who was creating the project wanted some sign language involved, and so they scouted around locally, and they got a few people who were interested. And if I remember rightly, they were called Silent Hands. It's a mixture of deaf people, hearing people, some know sign language, some don't. So getting together, learning about language, learning about deaf about it, and having fun. It's actually my 30th anniversary performance. Um, like most people of my generation, I knew Joseph from when I was a kid. I was about eight or nine when I first learned it. It all came about originally through Richard Stilgo, uh, who first wrote Starlight Express, The Paranormal for Cat, and the original version of Phantom with Andrew. So, 17th of June, 1992, that was my first ever sign performance, and it was the, the most famous, fabulous theatre in the UK, if not the world. Um, and I thought it would be a one-off. Uh, but then I went back to do a second joke, so I think I did three or four at the Palladium. The theatre community generally is very accepting, both of BSL performances and of deaf performers. Um, there is a slowly growing number of deaf actors. It's a collaborative process, and then it's to be understanding from both groups of people. There are lots of things that deaf people can bring to a performance. There are lots of things hearing people bring. Deaf people can do anything except hear. Um, and we all need to learn that we all have something about it that we might not like, particularly when we're young. But it's only when we accept it, we overcome it. And that makes us part of who we are. <laughs> Here in this theatre business, most of us spend our time pretending to be something that we're not. Hopefully we'll create something that people out there want to see and that they will enjoy and they should hopefully forget that that person's not a disability about that person's skin colour or whatever. So that's my hope.